Okay, so this is a video we're going to discuss how to use um, Octave Online to uh, solve a few linear algebra problems. And so where I'm at is here, this is uh, blah, blah, blah. Let's see if I can say this. Octave uh, hyphen, I guess, online.net. And so you can just do a search on Octave Online and this should pop up. Okay, so I'm going to solve a couple of uh, linear algebra problems. And the problem is here's a matrix A and here's a vector U. And I want to say, I want to find out, is U in the null space of A? Is U in the column space of A? And is U in the row space of A? Okay, so before I go to the to the um, uh, software program, I want to try to figure out what equation am I trying to solve uh, when I'm trying to answer these. So for example, in this first question, is U in the null space of A? Well, how would I show that a vector is in the null space of a matrix? Well, I would check to see if uh, a times that vector is equal to zero. And so in this case, we want to say uh, is a times u equal to zero, right? And so in this case, we would just multiply a times u. Okay, um, so in the second uh, part, is u in the column space of a? Um, how would I what equation am I having to solve in that case? Well, u is in the column space um, would mean that u is a linear combination of the columns of A. And so we're saying that, uh, is there an x such that A times x equals u, right? And so if I were to put this in MATLAB or Octave Online, I would go ahead and make my um, augmented matrix, right? And then I would just do a row reduction on that. Okay. And so uh, the last case is u in the row space of A. Well, that would mean that u is a linear combination of the rows of A. And so in that case, uh, the setup is a little bit different. Uh, instead of looking at A times X equal to u, what we might say is, is there a solution? Or is there a vector, say y, such that uh, a transpose times y is equal to u, right? Because once you form the a transpose, the rows of a are the columns of a transpose, and so this would be a good way to check. Okay, and so in that case we would have uh, a transpose as for our augmented matrix, right? Uh, and then a u there. Good, and then we again we would row reduce. So now that we've got an outline as to how to solve these problems, let's go back into the software now and see if we can enter the matrix and the vector. Okay, so let's see, show desktop. So here, uh, hopefully you can see this. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead, maybe I'll put it in the, the actual MATLAB form as well. Um, okay, so, um, to enter a matrix, you enter, in this case, A equals, and then a square bracket. And then you put in your numbers. 1 minus 1, 5 is uh, the first row. And then a semicolon to end the row. 2, 0, 7 was the second row. And minus 3, minus 5. Uh, minus 3 was the third row. Let's go ahead and put in U as well. So as a column vector, that's going to be minus 7 with a semicolon, and then a 3 semicolon and a 2. Good. And then I'll put a semicolon to end the row, end the line. Okay, so if I want to look at A, I could type in A, and then if I want to look at U, I could type in U. Good. Now the first question was, uh, is U, um, I'll put in a comment here, uh, I think that's a comment, is U in the null space of A? To answer that question, we'll take a times u. What do we get? Oh, zero! It is in the null space of a. So the answer is yes. Uh, u is in the null space of a. Good. The second question was, is u in the uh, column space of a? <clears throat> and to answer that, we'll, we'll go ahead and take b, and I'm going to create an augmented matrix. So I'm going to put a square bracket, and then I'm going to put the matrix a there, and then I'm going to put a space, and then I'll put the vector u there, and then I'll put the end of the uh, matrix. 
And so you'll see here that the minus 732 came down as an augmented column. And so now I can do the row, redu row reduced echelon form of B to answer this question. And do you remember what we're trying to find? Yeah, we shouldn't have a row of zeros in A, so let's see if we do. Uh, 0, 0, 0, 1. So that's a problem, right? So our last row of the row reduced echelon form says that U is not in the column space. By the way, that's not uh, always guaranteed, but um, let's see if it's in the row space. So in that case, uh, B was formed by taking A transpose. By the way, transpose in MATLAB is going to be the apostrophe sign, so A transpose, and then uh, U is the vector. And let's do a row reduction now. Do you think it's in the row space? Nope, it's not in the row space either. Okay, so um, actually uh, I can tell you one thing. If, if U is in the null space of A, then U is actually going to be orthogonal to the row space. Uh, we'll prove that later. <laughs> okay, so this is uh, using um, MATLAB. Let's go ahead and use Octave as well here. Oh, I see my activity line is up here. So let's. So that was uh, to enter a matrix. You re enter A equals and then square bracket and then put it in um, row by row. So one minus one five semicolon uh, two zero seven semicolon. And then minus three, minus five, uh, minus three, colon, uh, now a square bracket to end the matrix. And then I'll put in a semicolon to end the line. And then I'll go ahead and put in my vector u as well. That was minus seven. I'm going to create it as a column vector. So I'll end the row there. And then a three, and then a two. Good. There's my vector u. Here's my matrix A. Good. And then again, uh, if you can put in a comment if you want with a percentage sign. Is U in the null space? Whoops. In the null space of A. And we'll take A times U. And it is. So you could even answer the question here. Uh, yes, U is in the null space of A. Okay. Now the question is, uh, is U in the column space of A? That was the next question. And so now um, we're going to do a row reduced echelon form of the matrix form by A and then U. Notice that I didn't have to write this as B. I could just do the whole thing as one statement. And so let's do the row reduced echelon form and see what we get. And we see a row of zeros with a one on the end. That means U is not in the column space of A. Good. All right. By the way, uh, You'll notice that the third third column of A is in the span of the first two columns. Okay, so um, the second thing we wanted to check was to see if um, U is in the row space of A. It's not going to be, but we'll go ahead and try it just for fun. And so again, I'll form that augmented matrix, take the row reduced echelon form, and again we get a row of zeros at the bottom with a one on the right, and that says no. Good. All right, so that's how you uh, solve matrix algebra problems uh, using Octave Online or MATLAB. Um, so in our case, we're only just going to be uh, solving problems really by entering a matrix and a vector and then seeing if the row reduced echelon form has a certain uh, format to it. So all the problems that I've given you should be able to you should be able to solve using those two commands, or actually just the one command, R R E F. Good. I'll stop there. Uh, and I'll see you later.